this is the most important and crucial period of your lives for what you do now and what you decide now at this age may well determine which way your life shall go. And the question is whether you have a proper, a solid, and a sound blueprint. And I want to suggest some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. So secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have, as a basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You're going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. Once you discover what it will be, set out to do it and to do it well. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. And finally, in your life's blueprint, must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty, love, and justice. Well, life for none of us has been a crystal star. We must keep moving. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Well, uh, my past was actually kind of not very simple and not very usual, I would say. I've been to Madrasa, um, like an Islamic boarding, when I was four, got back when I was 13. Of course, there was like different um, places I've been to. And then when I was got back in 13, I was not kind of like very um, acceptable by the society because I was always away um, from my family, from my you know, cousins, my relatives my um, friends, whoever were there in my area. So I've, I had never felt like that I belong here or I, have, I had any connection because everyone was like studying in schools and everyone was like growing and reaching to new heights in life and I, there was just no connection. That made me kind of very uh, demotivated, upset and angry. If I explained like when you are not acceptable in the society, how you feel, that's, that was the feeling I had. And after that, I found like you know, there is too much energy in me, which is just I'm unable to talk to anyone and I can't explain anything to you at that point of time. So I started just doing basic push-ups and pull-ups at home because I have always seen my dad training and that was like kind of inspiration. He inspired me to start training. He used to go to gym and he used to train. That was that was like Desi Akhara. There's a lot of mud and you're training. You used to train like four or five hours, six hours a day. From there I picked it up and then I started training as well when I was 13. And you know like in early days there was like just when I was going to going to gym, it used to be like somewhere around 40 minutes away from my home. I used to walk, walk back. And then I realized my body is not improving. It's been like a couple of months. Then I got to know there is a difference between that how actually body is not, your body will not build just by training. It's about nutrition. And to be honest with you, I did not even know the spelling of nutrition at that time. And I didn't even know the difference between carbohydrate and protein. I used to ask in the gym uh, how this is. And I, I had no idea. So because I did not go to school and I did not go to, I did not study. And people actually explained it to me, they were nice. And that's how I started, you know, like investing in me, more time, uh, money, energy. Every time either I was 
working for money to make money or I was uh, studying on my own or I was training. These three things were in my life. And I did that like for a couple of years, like first maybe five, five, six years. And uh, I started working as a, as a milkman first. And that was a very uh, different job than anybody um, ever expected from me, from my family. Which was, for me, it was just a job because I wanted to make money and support myself when it comes to training, when it comes to studying myself, um, self-studying basically. So initially I used to read a lot of magazines and all that, you know. Um, in my town, you, you, I used to get like uh, those magazines where the front page is not there. So those were like old magazines. And I used to like go somewhere 10, 20 kilometers, I used to walk and buy those magazines. That was like, it used to cost me five rupees, 10 rupees each magazine. But the magazines were like, oh, last year, one year old magazine. I used to read, uh, I never used to read actually, I used to just take out all the pictures and stick on my wall in my room where I used to live, it was like a very storeroom kind of a thing, kind of a place, that became more like a vision board for me because all the pictures I, I stuck there and that's how from there I had to learn English also because all the magazines were in English and that's how I started from there. And I educated. My, I, I got educated. I learned, and then I moved to Bombay, and I started you know, my uh, doing my courses um, in fitness. And I worked to to all the gyms, all the gyms you know, you name it. I've worked there almost first ten years. So if it's, I've started training at the age of thirteen, by the age of twenty-three, this is ten years of time I've. By that time, I was already on the cover page of Men's Health. I was I've done a couple of cover pages, fitness with DVDs, fitness videos, and uh, at the age of 24, I was on this uh, on the television, MTV Spritz Villa. I was the one of the finalists and did quite well actually. And this was quite a journey. Maybe in more detail, I can write in, in my book later on. But trust me, this is like very for me when I look back and just think about it. It inspires me. If anything I, I get from my past, nothing but, but more and more motivation, more fire and more why I should continue doing what I'm doing. Even ten, I feel like 24 hours is not enough for me. I feel the energy is not enough for me. I want to do 10 times more. That's the reason why I started TYB so that I can help, help more and more people um, through, with the help of more people, like with the help of my trainers and my team. And that's why everyone in TYB speaks my language, because that's what I teach them. First thing I wake up in the morning early at four, and after that the first thing which I do is like, I know it's not a good thing to check your social media and to get into your phone, but I don't use my phone for that reason. I use my phone just to get to YouTube and play the motivational videos, which, uh, and again, this is something which I've been listening since last couple of years and I just get to those videos I play one of them because there is a subscription and you know like whatever the, the people I follow there's a routine and it's like leveling up sometimes that ritual is actually very monotonous very boring for people but not for me because though it's different speakers they are talking and they're telling the same thing uh, sometimes you feel like it's the same thing why 50 different people are talking but my point is that these are my affirmations and the more I listen to the same thing the more I adapt and at that point of time you know like if I see if I have changed and my life has changed by these manifesting and by manifestations and the affirmations and by listening to such people in last few years imagine if I keep doing better and better and keep trying and keep putting into into work and uh, efforts if I keep putting into something whatever I want to do in coming five years where I can reach so that's the reason why my rituals are like so particular and for others it can be very boring but not for me
reason why I came to Dubai was so that I can uh, travel and compete worldwide. And as soon as I came, I won, I won the competition here, the reps cover page, and that was the best person trainer. You know, like it was something like that. And uh, I moved to, I, I went to Australia to compete, and I won one category there. I came in Australia, top five fitness models. Um, that was quite experienced, first show, and I was, I was like very overwhelmed, very happy, and then I decided to compete again, and then again, and then again, and then again. So I've competed to UK like three times, Italy, Australia, and many other places. After that, I, uh, 2019, I placed second in classic bodybuilding in UK, and that was the highest I've ever placed among all those six, seven shows I've done in my life. And, and yeah, so that's like very, like how one, you know, how can your passion, when, if I look back when I was 13, I started literally to make 10 rupees per day was difficult, like 300 rupees per month was so difficult for me. And after that, I have traveled, I have, you know, sacrificed, I have struggled, I have gone through all the hardships, I have learned the most important thing, people can take your money can take your assets can take your you know material but they cannot take who you are and what who you are is what you learn but how you have learned and how you have adapted you know from from your experience nobody can take away your experience and that's my big since i have my this is my ideology that where i have come from i've come from literally from nothing and i know I can always go back to that place. So what is that one thing which will stay with me till I'm alive is my experiences, you know, my knowledge and my, how I implement that knowledge and, and share with people that nobody can take. That's why my whole idea and my whole point was all these years, nearly now, I'm, I'm reaching 20 years in fitness industry. And it was just this that make something out of it. Make something means not material and money, it will always follow you if you are very passionate about it. And then that's what I did. And after that, um, after three, four years working as a solo personal trainer and traveling and competing, I decided to expand. I decided to expand TYB and start a company which I named TYB. That's like transform your body because um, that's, that's what I do. That's what I've been doing, transforming my life basically. And trans, it's called TYB, but basically when anybody who connects with me, they know uh, that it's not just about the body, it's about the mind. That's my main point, main concern, because whatever your mind can adapt, your body can achieve. If your mind can command to your body, your body will always follow. And that's the reason so many transformation and so many results you get to see. And this is, to be honest, this is just a start. It's been just one year for TYB and we have reached to like very, uh, uh, you know, like it's, it's already a huge success. But for me, I mean, it's according to them, it's a huge success. But for me, it's just a warm up. We're just getting started. It's just a start. It's just the beginning because I know what my vision is and I know what my potential is. Um, I'm very much aware and I know how many people think and they see that what I'm doing but only I know what I'm not doing how much I can learn more how much I can adapt more and how much I can implement more only I know nobody knows that from that point of view I can tell you that this is nothing this is literally nothing the energy I have the vision I have this is nothing this is gonna be global and everyone will know that because I'm ready to put everything I have, all the time I have in my life, and all the energy I have, then why it will not? And transformation is something which will teach you, it will not just change the way you look, it will change the way you think, it will change your habits, it will change everything, the, peop the people you sit with, it will change your future, it will change your present, and it will also change the way you see your past because there's a lot of baggage we carry from our past, but we don't realize if we, if we are already spending so much time, investing so much time in thinking about our past, why don't we pick some of the good things from our past and just 
let go of it. That's what I have done. And once you do that, you actually realize there was a lot to learn. There was a lot to learn. You could have learned that time, but you were just always complaining. And if you, now if you do that, you will see you will feel stronger, you will become stronger, you, your behavior will change, your habits will change, and that's how your future will change. That's why the whole process of transformation is very inspiring and it's uh, very much, uh, I would say, psychological, uh, you know, and of course scientific as well to some, some extent. That's the reason why I love transformation. Because once I see the transformation happen, first of all, the whole journey, once I notice and see and make it happen for anyone and for myself, and then once it happened, when the person, the client is, has transformed, it's, it gives me completely different feeling, like a different satisfaction than I, I can't get from anyone and from anywhere, from anything. So that's a different, like completely, it gives me, it makes me feel like my life has a purpose. My life is useful to other people. I can, I can change others' lives and inspire because you are not transforming just that one person, you're transforming the entire family, you're transforming the entire friend circle. So my whole idea of transformation, that's the reason I don't, in my, in my, in my mind coaching, I never talk about the training and nutrition. Maybe I do just 5% of it because I have a whole team to work for it. But basically, my point is like how I can change the way you think and help you. Because if you are sitting in front of me, and if you are looking for any personal trainer or any transformation program or any uh, uh, fitness program, it means you want that. And the amount of time I invest and the amount of energy I invest in this and how I'm creating this whole program better and better, how I'm creating the whole vibe and energy there where it's a family, TYB literally is a family. And when I see those small little messages, people are appreciating, they're posting on social media, they're sending me messages personally, they're calling me. And when I look in, into their eyes, just, it just melts my heart. And it makes me feel that, oh my God, where I started, what, what my journey is about. And look, after all the hardships and after all the struggle, where I've reached that people are literally coming and crying and hugging me and you know like being so grateful at what I'm doing and I just can't stop. Now I have reached to a point after all these years the way I train now is like very it's a pure art my body is a piece of art for me and my mind is you know like the uh, the superpower which controls all my muscles if you notice the way I train the way I'm touching my muscles is like literally um, I can feel how it moves. There's a communication going on between my body and my mind. Uh, my, my brain is constantly sending signals to my muscles. Okay, move this way, move that way. And I want to see, I want to see all those muscles, that how they are reacting to it. And for that, of course, I need to be very low in body fat. I have to be lighter, I have to be more defined. Nothing should look which is not natural. My body and my frame, when it comes to like the, your shoulder and waist ratio, it has to be like X, it has to come V and then you're, when you're going down to your quads, it should be like very well defined. And that's my philosophy of training. When you move, how you control the tempo, when you're like, when you're, how your muscles are talking to your mind, how your mind is talking to your muscles, what the communication is going on in between them and how you're holding how much you're supposed to hold, what's the tempo. What is my purpose today? What I'm going to do? And how I'm going to um, execute this, this day? My, because I'm, I know I'm gonna have a lot of meetings, I'm gonna have training sessions. So my, the first thing which I think about is like, I'm going to give my 200 person and I'm going to change at least one person life today, which usually are more than one person. So this is my first thing that who I'm, what I'm going to do with my, with my meetings, with my clients, with these people and how I'm going to inspire. That's the reason I listen to these videos and I send to my clients uh, every day, first thing in the morning. And I know some people do pay attention and some don't. That's, that's totally their choice. Uh, I cannot force, as I said, like this is always 
uh, I'm responsible for the transformation and to inspire people, but not accountable. Accountability comes from from them. But I I love to do my job properly. If anything is important, that's your mindset. That's why that's why I do before anybody joined TYB, I do the mind coaching. You know, I spend a lot of time with them at, at the first meeting, and I meet them like every month just to see where they are and how their mind is. No matter if they are getting results, if they are not getting results, usually people don't get results when their mindset is somewhere else. Their mindset is not like on track. So they need to set them, they need to do this little shift in their mind and their mental and then realize that what they are working on is something much bigger than where they are spending and wasting time. So yeah, mindset is very important. What I want to achieve, I can achieve and that is I want at least one person from every family in UAE to join TYB once in their lifetime. That is one goal and my vision which I have for, for TYB. And I want to take TYB internationally to start in New York, to start in London, because I know what I have and how I uh, connect with people is something very unique one cannot learn. If I have to go back and live in the village, live wherever I can, I, I can. I will, but I will not stop what I'm doing. That is for sure. And that's that's one thing. That's one vision I have for TYB and for all the transformation to take it globally and make it like really big and help as many people as I can. Uh, for my personal, um, for my personal life, I have a vision that to become a person of value, to become someone who can help whoever needs my help, who can support people and you know just don't become a man of success. This is one quote which I read and I literally uh, put it as my wallpaper on my phone that don't become a, a man of success but become a man of value. Just learn, grow, learn, grow. And that's the reason when people say like, oh yeah sir you always say you're just getting started. Come on, you have done so much, you're working so hard, you're doing so well. But trust me, after all this, we are just getting started. Thank you.